Hello everybody, Captain Thief back in Captania for more Captanius adventures. Um, it's been a while since I've actually recorded. I just finished Rogue's Legacy. Rogue Legacy, I don't know. It, I always put it in the plural, even if or the apostrophe S, even if it's not actually there. And, you know, I'm trying to come up with my next project, but, you know, it's one of those things that can only really happen on the weekends because of work. But, yeah, let's let's get back into the dailies. Rat Monarch, Venture Cave. Venture Cave, very easy place. Or it's, you know, normal difficulty. It's not the easy. That one's like Hobbler's Hold or something. So, as a Rat Monarch, I feel like we may want to be kind of casty. But, you know, Yehora is always a good choice. Especially since uh, we have pretty crappy inventory anyway. Well, you're just making it worse, Captain. Well, yeah, that's true. The compression seal does not work at all for Rat Monarch because all items are large. And you can't even condense something into a small. Um, and even if you could, you'd need five of them to make it actually do something, or two of them to actually do something. Um, what else am I doing? I don't really feel like prepping any of the all, all, any other altars. I'll take Teddy, and if I don't plan on using him, I'm just going to recycle him for the you know points. Black market's good. Red market really ex excels in places where you can actually buy money or use money to buy things. In this one, I'm not so, you know, uh, uh, Naga Cauldron's all right, but it's really more of a priest thing to me. And uh, elite items, apothecary, agnostic's collar. We might just go agnostic's collar, you know? If we're going to go to Horror, and, you know, that tends to be my strategy, one god or something, even though I'm not a paladin or anything, I might as well just, just desecrate the other altars and get some free piety. And some free, uh, uh, what are those things called? Admonishments? I can't remember. Basically, it means you can do whatever you want and your uh, god won't care for uh, some time. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and use some of our spare MP to, you know, start earning up some of this uh, spare piety, yet also kind of asking ourselves. Making an acid of ourselves. You know what? I've got, wait, what? I'll recycle this one. Yay. That, that got me some piety, too. We might as well pick up this piety while we're at it. Oh, we're already poisoned, guys. Already poisoned. Um, right, we really should be using the spare mana when we can. Hello, level 2. Level two's tempting. I need to get rid of this poison, though. This poison's pretty bad stuff. Let's just keep uh, flipping this guy around. Yeah, and I'm not playing expertly here. I'm wasting so much mana, but you know what? It's going all right. Once we get to 45, that's when we can buy our petition and be awesome about it. Um, I have a feeling that Yehora is supposed to at least somewhat resemble something Lovecraftian. I know I'm using that term incorrectly because everyone's used to uh, this all-powerful thing, but you know when you think about it, Cthulhu or whatever is really supposed to be more about insanity, or at least the Lovecraftian uh, universe and stuff. And you know who else but him? really represents insanity. It's not like you can never kill this guy. You can desecrate his altar, but that's as good as you're going to get. About as well as the alert did to crash, in, crash into him. Spoiler alert. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I could use the wait wet for attacking reasons, so I might just, you know, let that stay. Yet I also like the idea of doing this. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll drink the health potion. Yay. Now I'm no longer poisoned. Now I can probably start attacking. Or no, I can't. Mostly because of the corrode. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. I know, this isn't a very exciting episode so far all weekend. You know, I don't care about weekend, actually. I don't think it matters. I know this isn't a very exciting episode since it's only low level. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're almost there. We might as well pick up this spare, this spare mana. Yes, uh, he can resist. And yes, it doesn't matter. Because I, uh... It gave him credit anyway. Okay, let's go to Petition. I know there's a strategy to be said for, you know, just skipping Petition and moving on to other things and curing all that, you know, all these bad things with the Chaos Avatar, but... Uh, that's not really something I'm going to do right now. Um, as soon as I get the 20... 20 Piety again, I'm almost certainly... I have... I have enough HP to survive this now. Uh, that's right, I must have picked up an HP thingy. Well, we've got two corrosive thingies. So every time we hit him, we're going to hit him for two more damage the next time we hit him. That's a thing. So you know what? Let's, let's just go ahead and get started. I've already uncovered, like, it feels like a quarter of the map. I really might as well get started. Um, 
if I had burned a res, I could be making good use of it. But I don't. Or I'd be burning him and the corrode would be real. Although dragon kind or whatever you're talking about. Let's grab one more square. And uh, we're coming back. See, as soon as I get him on the next run, I can just go ahead and smack him with the wait what. So I'm hanging on to the wait what. It's a little better than this want to fight actually let's go and get rid of it I was thinking of keeping it for uh, piety farming but you know what if I get biceps I'd rather have that I know that doesn't mean I know I'm gonna get biceps I'm just you know taking a wild guess here let's go ahead and turn our mana potion into something that it's good at which is you know giving me extra mana now we can go ahead and do this and then hope like heck that he doesn't resist which he didn't and then kill his face yay um I still have patches he gave me plus 5% damage and teleported me. You know what? Um, probably should have done that earlier. But oh well. I'm fine with it. Uh, let's just keep teleporting you around. For the piety, of course. Uh, this will be difficult. I need to get out of here. And you know what? I can totally get out of here. Let's go ahead and just send you up there. Yeah. I can come back for him later. I'm not hurting for level 2s right now, guys. I can also get the HP up. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. That's like even more important than the mana up, actually. Oh, hello. Kind of hard to fight wraiths. Just saying. Anything we buy will give me, you know, half my health back with over health if necessary, and half my mana back with no over mana. So yeah, that's a thing. Um. Ish. Just eesh. I might as well just, you know, store up some of these low levels. I can't really store them up for uh, the good stuff. The good stuff being, of course, one-shotting them as popcorn. Because I'll never do enough damage without first hitting them. But oh well. Uh, tell you what. Let's find level three that's not him. Or Burnderaz. You know, I'd be fine with either, really. Might as well move the guys out of the way. That seems like a good idea. Let's just move... Enemies out of the way, get free piety while we're at... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I can kind of make this work now. Burn, burn, smack. Okay, well, that's great, but then I'm mana burned. Let's maybe come back to you. You'll be, you know, my go-to guy if I can find the mana orb or something. But for now, no. Just no. And I need a spare, a spare inventory just to drink potions, by the way. Oh, speaking of which, Agnostic's Caller. There's, um, Benlo right there. I'm sure I'll find another altar or something. Okay. Um, let's just keep spending our mana on stuff. Let's move enemies out of the way of places, because I hate it when they're blocking my areas. Um, this might work. This might work. I'll do it. So let's see. We can burn them. I might as well burn them once. It's probably not going to do much. Probably not going to do much. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get back to uh, smacking health. And by then, he's already healed up. But now, oh my gosh, look how powerful my burns are against him individually, particularly. <sighs> Help nut is a great glyph, especially if I'm trying not to get poisoned. So I want to recycle it. I really do. To get the extra corrosive damage thing going for me. But that's not something I can really do for right now. Um, how much... Burn, burn, smack, okay. Or I could, you know, go ahead and just start fighting the bandit, which would use more resources. This guy I can just kill without eating any darkness. Let's just go and do that. Boom. Hooray. Smackity, smackity, burnity, spurnity. Good. Hi, how's it going? Level three is abound now that I've killed my fair share of them. Uh, I'll tell you what, goo blobs are good sources of vitamin D if you know how to ask. Let's see. Let's smack more. Oh, you dirty goo blob, you. You know, I might as well use the Venom Dagger. Let's just go and buy it now. I know, I should be saving my gold for like some sort of a, a last minute burst or something, but this sounds good too. Sounds great too. What are you talking about? Um, Let's smack somebody like the snake. I'll smack the snake, he'll be ready to die in one hit. And he'll die 
And I'll be poisoned, but then I'll cure the poison, and there we go, okay. So he's ready to die. Um, and he's poisoned. The irony, the irony. We're level four, which means level five is still a good idea, actually. Yeah. Totally. Why not? Why the F not? And his magic resist doesn't do a thing against the extra damage of my corrosions on his face. Um, let's try and find the sign down here. Because it might just open up someone's eyes they saw the sign. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that fight. I really am not. Uh, when do I use this diagnostics collar? Well, that's a good question. I might just... Here's what I might just do. I might just, you know, get everything I can out of... Uh, yeah, Hora. I actually forgot his name there for a minute. Convert out once I have 20 potty. Destroy his altar. I mean, uh, destroy somebody's altar, then convert out, and then I can destroy his altar for another 20 piety. If I deem it worthy. And I probably will. Okay, level 5s. More level 5s, please. Well, this level 6 looks snack-tastic, but... There's the rep. I probably can't really fight him. I can... Let's use Hopper. Now I don't have a drinking um, buddy. Great. Just, just great. Um, we only really need to heal up a little bit, yeah, and then I can go ahead and take another hit out of him. Um, okay, so he's up to 12. So now our burns are doing a total of 28 damage per. 28 plus 28 is 56, that's not enough. So if we can, I would really like to, um, do this. Okay, and then we come back, we smack. Okay, so I just did that to cure the poison mostly. So we got 16 damage plus, yeah, so that's a total of 34. 68 damage each, and then I can finish them off with just a regular smack. So let's go ahead and get up this much, and yeah, we can come back to this. Um, if we're going to smack them, we might as well smack them first to make it really hurt. And this just barely levels me. Watch, I'm gonna see all the level fives in the world down here now. Uh, speaking of level, you know, I could probably do the same thing to you. I think I will do the same thing to you. Um, is there something I feel like recycling though? And uh, kind of wait, what? No, piety. I'm disappointed in you. Ugh, okay. Uh, anyway. Might as well be. I, well, I was thinking about using it for these guys, but oh well. Why did I convert it if I. Oh, hi. If I do find level 5s, I don't know what I'm coming back for. Uh, anyway, um, what do I do with my spare MP? There's not really much to do. Let's just go ahead and do this. Um, still hitting me kind of hard, but like his earlier snake brethren, I don't need to heal that much in order to get, you know, another free hit in on Han. In an in an, in an, in an Han and. Yes, I speak English, Grook. Okay, uh, smack, heal. 21 corrosions. I'm doing pretty darn good, if I may say so myself. So let's go ahead and get one more hit on him. And burn, and then burn. Oh, crap. But now I don't have uh, enough to heal myself. Well, it's not like a man burn. So stop freaking out, guys. Stop freaking out. It's all right. Let me just heal away that nasty poison. Hooray. All right, level five. Um, I'm thinking about it. Level 7. Thinking about it. I mean, there's got to be a lot of level 5s left, right? No, I killed a couple earlier because I was just so great at my job. I may not actually go for the Bounce Dagger. It kind of tends to uh, mess me up anyway. It's burn, burn, smack. It's not really working. Not really working. Okay, maybe this level 8. Yeah, this level 8 seems great. Um, kind of destroying her, actually. Okay, then we just heal up enough for two burns, and then this extra smack. Yeah, it's not really working. We'll just let her burn. Let her burn. And then that should be good. Okay, now this smack. Ho oh, ho! And then die. Okay, cool. So, 
we're kind of saving up our uh, Yehora Chaos Form Chaos Avatar thing for kind of a awesome thing that we're going to have going on here. Oh my goodness, look at the damage that builds up on this, especially now that I can survive it. Um, <clears throat> here's what I'm thinking about doing. I should be able to just kill him at level 6, I think. I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smack him around and heal up with Hauptma and just keep building up the acid on him. And then eventually it'll get ludicrous. Ludo the Chris. Um, I'm still going to be using Burned Raz, though. I... I don't know if I'll be using this Moon Dagger. The Agnostic Scholar, sure, maybe. But you know what? Before we do that, let's just go ahead and make sure he's utterly owned. You know, I... I really shouldn't start fights I'm not absolutely sure about. So, we're level 6. Burn, burn. Not good enough. Not good enough. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's only level 6, though. Wasn't there a level... S oh, yeah, the snake, but I killed it. I killed it with my bare hands. Okay, well, let's just see what's behind door number two. Oh, a zombie. You know what? I'm not actually that afraid of zombies as a rat monarch or whatever on Earth I am. Tell you what. Our main thing is just putting acid on you and then making sure you suffer for it. Oh, right. We got to discover down here. Find the sign. Find the sign... So it can use its wonderful treasures later. Okay, smack it again. Heal, heal. Smack it again. All right. Um, sign? There it is. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So if I can just play this just right. Yeah, and I'm playing it just perfectly right. Watch this. It's going to take all but one of my health, but you know what? I didn't have that much health, so uh-oh, boom. So it gave me these two things, which are great. Compression seal. Sorry, but I can't use it as a rep mark, but the Schadenfreude, the Schadenfreude is real. And unfortunately, it looks like I can't get back there without, I don't know, blowing this away. So it's a trade-off. Blow this away, get eight darkness. It's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. Uh, let's just go ahead and kill a zombie now, though. Especially since I'm using up all this uh, resource that I said I was saving for the dragon guy thingamajab. So... I'm going to smack him again. It's going to put on another 8 corrosive. It's 48 corrosive. I mean, 48 more damage on the burn. 72 damage per burn. He only has 120 left. This is going to kill him. Boom. Boom. Strongest burns in the game, I think. Uh, hi. How you doing? Uh, the biceps. Biceps is great. Because every time you do it, it triggers a uh, Yahora thing the job. Which is excellent, actually. Um, so we really might as well use it to get some extra piety. I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm absolutely fine with this. Um, with what we killed, we have enough to, you know, get kind of a, a thing going here. Let's, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get everybody here to be one-shottable. Kind of. That'll just kill him. I don't have him poisoned. Uh, can I just come up here and start you guys out? Cool. Uh, that'll kill you in one hit. You are not killable in one hit, though. You are now killable in one hit. Heal up some of our health, because I don't want... Whoops. I killed her. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's heal up. Um, I might as well do this. And just flat out kill him, too. Cool, I have 80. That's enough for chaos for him. Alright, so everybody is not going to be happy with how this is going to happen. Go down. And by everybody, I don't mean you guys. I mean th these guys. They're still poisoned. The funniness is here to stay. Okay. So, it's much better to save your regening for when you're higher level, because then you get more regen out of it. So we really might as well, you know, do what we can to him now. Can I grab a two square somewhere? Yeah, there's a two square right there. Boom. Heal, heal. Grab these two, heal, and then boom. And now let's just go ahead and level up catapult. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now let's just keep putting uh, corrosions on. Are there any glyphs on the ground that I haven't converted yet? Mmm, biceps. I'll hang on to it. Against better judgment, I'll hang on to it. 
Also, I'm going to be putting a bunch of poison on him too. Well, not a bunch, but a good, a good amount. Um, let's do this some more. Boom. Okay, he's up to 34 corrodes. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this. Boom. That also gave me another corrode because, you know, it gave me 100 conversion points. Oh, I'm so close to another corrode. Hang on. I know there's something I can convert for just 10 more. The Venom Dagger? Dare I? Maybe. Maybe I'll think about it. A potion would work. I, I, a potion. I, I can pronounce things. Sorry. <sighs> um, I don't see anything that's super cheap here. I love you, Dragon Soul. Um, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and keep on doing this. Yeah, okay, he's up to seven. Um, seven. I mean, it's a thing. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and convert now. I just wanted to be rid of it, alright? It was taking up so much inventory being a large item and all. And now I can use the shed for it. Hooray. So, really. This makes things a little difficult, actually, because now... There's no real way for me to eat a Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, hmm. Well, uh, okay. The other, the other god is Dracul. Okay. Well, he he wouldn't hate me. I don't think he would anyway. Um, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and grab one square from I don't know where. What? There's no one squares to grab? Okay. Fine. Be that way. I just... I can use the help now. Maybe that'll let me kill this guy. Yeah, that, that works. That works just fine. Thank you. And then kill him. And in the end, it didn't really work out for me. Whatever, though. He's still poisoned. And I still do a ton of damage for poisoning or burning him or something. Let's drink the Chadenfroid. And hit somebody who hit us hard enough to replenish all of our MP. This guy will do. Hooray. And now uh, we just burn, and then we burn, and then we can drink a mad potion. Sure, why not? Finish him off. There's only one boss here, so we win. Hooray. Um, I don't mean to sound sarcastic. I'm actually pretty happy about this. Let's go ahead and recycle these things, and then take a couple of potions out, because that's as much as I can hold, guys. Oh, they stack. I don't feel as smart as I did a few minutes ago. But, you know, you know that's okay. You're not supposed to feel smart all the time, or you'd feel smart all the rhyme. And rhyme means frost. Robert Frost. And now I'm just drawing conspiracy theories from nowhere. Uh, let's grab this and go. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure you're tired of my looting antics. Um, yeah, that works. Cool beans, cool beans, 269. How did I do? Uh, number 20. The daily's been out for three, four hours, so you know, this is known for a good score. How many? How many total? 57? Okay, well, I feel a little better being in the top three, uh, top third, top third ish. Just almost in the top third. Cool. I'd love to do the, the dailies more often, but sometimes I just don't get the ability to, thanks to work. However, you know, it's one of those things I want to keep up. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, where hopefully, you know, it's a little more difficult. Not that I hate Den of Danger, it's nice if it's a class I'm not used to. And I am not very good at Blood Mage. So, I will see you in the next one, with next daily. See ya.